One of the most important and mysterious elements in the entire Matrix universe is the Source. A place located in the Matrix that according to the Oracle is where the One must go to end the war. The place that endowed Neo with powers in the Matrix and in the real world. Where the center of the entire simulation could be. Would you like to know what the Source is? Welcome to Matrix Explained. Welcome to the desert of the real. The first time we ever hear about the Source was in Matrix Reloaded. Neo is having nightmares about Trinity's death, but the Oracle reveals to him that he is also dreaming about the Source. Usually a program chooses exile when it faces deletion. And why would a program be deleted? Maybe it breaks down. Maybe a better program is created to replace it. Happens all the time. And when it does, a program can either choose to hide here or return to the source. The machine mainframe? Yes. Where you must go. Where the path of the one ends. You've seen it. In your dreams, haven't you? The door made of light. Neo refers to the source as the machine mainframe. So before we go any further, let's find out what a mainframe is. A mainframe computer is a computer used primarily by large organizations for critical applications, bulk data processing. A mainframe computer is larger and has more processing power than some other classes of computers, such as mini computers, servers, workstations, and personal computers. Most large-scale computer system architectures were established in the 1960s, but they continue to evolve. Mainframe computers are often used as servers. At their core, mainframes are high-performance computers with large amounts of memory and processors that process billions of simple calculations and transactions in real time. The mainframe is critical to commercial databases, transaction servers, and applications that require high resiliency, security, and agility. An interesting fact about mainframes is that they sometimes run specific programs. A key distinguishing feature of mainframes is that they are typically powered by mainframe-specific applications written in languages like Cabal. They also run their own operating systems like Z-OS. Mainframes, therefore, give you the best of both worlds access to a unique set of applications that you can't run elsewhere, plus the ability to handle the workloads of commodity servers. This is extremely important because it could explain what Seraph and the Oracle are, or at least the way they were programmed. The first time we meet Seraph, it is revealed that his Matrix code is of a different color, gold. In the Matrix Reloaded movie script, when Neo meets the Oracle at the park, he also sees her in this gold code. This could mean that both programs are directly connected to the source. They are not running in the same language of the Matrix simulation, but were programmed in another language, the language of the source, which is gold in color. This can explain Seraph's fighting skills and the Oracle's foresight. Both function as external programs to the Matrix because they are directly connected to the source as unique programs. Now that we know what a mainframe is, how does this apply in the world of the Matrix? Our time is up. Listen to me, Neo. You can save Zion if you reach the source, but to do that, you will need the Keymaker. The Keymaker? Yes, he disappeared some time ago. We did not know what happened to him until now. He's being held prisoner by a very dangerous program. One of the oldest of us. He is called the Merovingian, and he will not let him go willingly. What does he want? What do all men with power want? more power. The source lies behind the door of light. Neo reaches it, but instead of arriving at the mainframe, he meets the architect in his room filled with little TVs and two doors, who then tells Neo that he must choose one of them, one leading towards Trinity, who is about to die, and the other towards the salvation of humanity. The choice is a bit tricky. We could think that the first door leads directly to the source, but it is not for certain. There are two doors. The door to your right leads to the source and the salvation of Zion. 
The door to your left leads back to the matrix to her and to the end of your species. As you adequately put, the problem is choice. So the source can be accessed from the architect's room. As mentioned earlier, a mainframe can run exclusive applications and languages, meaning that in the world of the matrix, the architect has access from his room to fix, change, and create new versions of the simulation at will. It also allows the one to restart the matrix. The Oracle told Neo that he needed the Keymaker to save Zion, but that wasn't entirely true. She knew that finding the Keymaker would lead Neo to the architect and fulfilling his purpose as the one. Though of course, some might theorize that the Oracle was trying to change this paradigm. Agent Smith also mentions the source of how he was supposed to return to it, but didn't. You destroyed me, Mr. Anderson. Afterward, I knew the rules, I understood what I was supposed to do, but I didn't. I couldn't. I was compelled to stay, compelled to disobey. And now here I stand because of you, Mr. Anderson, because of you. In the words of the architect, the function of the One is now to return to the source, allowing a temporary dissemination of the code you carry, reinserting the Prime program. After which you will be required to select from the Matrix 23 individuals, 16 female, 7 male, to rebuild Zion. The Architect is giving Neo administrative privileges and authorization so that he can insert the code that he carries back into the source. This will activate the restart protocol and Neo would have to choose the new inhabitants of Zion. Interestingly enough, the architect mentions that Neo carries this code. The code that the architect refers to is the integral anomaly, which could mean that Neo is not the anomaly per se, but rather a person that carries it, like a storage drive that can transfer the data from one place to another. This would explain why in Matrix 4, Neo looks like an ordinary person again. He no longer carries the anomaly's code since it was returned to the source. Now going back to the Matrix Reloaded, after Neo chooses to save Trinity, they are attacked by Sentinels, but this time, Neo can feel them approaching. He used an ability that seems to be an EMP coming from his body and destroyed them. We have confirmation of the EMP thanks to the movie script, which says the following, they were almost on top of him, rising up to strike when he lifts his hand as one might reach out to feel the heat of a fire and suddenly, an electronic seizure shivers through each of them, one by one, struck by some invisible lightning, an individual EMP that sends them crashing to the ground, and as the last one falls, so does Neo, like a puppet cut from its strings, he collapses to the wet ground. Here there are two points of interest, the first is that it clearly mentions the EMP, which is an electrical magnetic pulse that Neo expelled from his body and used it against the Sentinels, but it simultaneously affected him as well, causing him to fall to the ground unconscious. Neo is connected to the source thanks to his mechanical implants that work like a wireless antenna. That connection allowed him to use the powers to destroy the Sentinels, but it disconnected him from the source, and his subconscious ended up in Mobile Ave. How you may ask? Well, let's see what the Oracle has to say. Tell me how I separated my mind from my body without jacking in. Tell me how I stopped four sentinels by thinking it. Tell me just what the hell is happening to me. The power of the one extends beyond this world. It reaches from here all the way back to where it came from. Where? The source. That's what you felt when you touched those sentinels. But you weren't ready for it. You should be dead. But apparently you weren't ready for that either. The source has its protectors. Inside the Matrix, the Architect stands guard at the virtual entrance. In the real world, Deus Ex Machina protects the mainframe. All artificial beings are connected to the source, the machines in the real world, and the programs inside the Matrix. Even the red pills could still be connected to the source due to the technology inside their bodies. The source is the base of the entire machine infrastructure. It is the foundation where all the machines and programs are created. Therefore, the source is the main target that must be destroyed. If it is destroyed, it would mean the end of the simulation and the machines, all of the programs and robots. 
this is the machine's weak point, and Neo knows it. Maybe Neo's goal in Matrix 4 is to try to infect and destroy the Source, and finally end the war. Perhaps the prophecy is true. Once the One returns to the Source, the war will end. But do you agree? Is the Source the machine's only weak point? Is it the key to ending the war? Will Neo travel back to the machine mainframe and face the Architect and Deus Ex Machina? For Matrix Explained, please leave a like and subscribe. And thank you for visiting the Desert of the Real.